follow us on Facebook and Instagram and do subscribe our YouTube and Telegram channels. Now let's start our discussion. Welcome to English Lecture Notes. Today's topic is T.S. Eliot's Tradition and Individual Talent. Tradition and the Individual Talent was first published in 1919 in the magazine The Egoist and soon after included in The Sacred Wood, Essays on Poetry and Criticism, 1920. This essay is divided into three parts, they are Concept of Tradition, Theory of Impersonal Poetry, and Conclusion. Eliot presents his conception of tradition and the definition of the poet and poetry in relation to it. He challenges the common perception that a poet's greatness and individuality lie in their departure from their predecessors. He argues that the most individual parts of his work may be those in which the dead poets, his ancestors, assert their immortality most vigorously. Eliot claims that this historical sense is not only a resemblance to traditional works but an awareness and understanding of their relation to his poetry. For Eliot, the term tradition is imbued with a special and complex character. It represents a simultaneous order, by which Eliot means a historical timelessness, a fusion of past and present, and, at the same time, a sense of present temporality. According to him, novelty is possible only through tapping into tradition. When a poet engages in the creation of new work, they realize an aesthetic, ideal order, as it has been established by the literary tradition. As such, the act of artistic creation does not take place in a vacuum. The introduction of a new work alters the cohesion of this existing order and causes a readjustment of the old to accommodate the new. The inclusion of the new work alters the way in which the past is seen, elements of the past that are noted and realized. This leads to Eliot's so-called impersonal theory of poetry. Since the poet engages in a continual surrender of himself to the vast order of tradition, artistic creation is a process of depersonalization. According to him, the mature poet is viewed as a medium through which tradition is channeled and elaborated. He compares the poet to a catalyst in a chemical reaction in which the reactants are feelings and emotions that are synthesized to create an artistic image that captures and relays these same feelings and emotions. While the mind of the poet is necessary for the production, it emerges unaffected by the process. The artist stores feelings and emotions and properly unites them into a specific combination, which is the artistic product. Great works do not express the personal emotion of the poet. The poet does not reveal their own unique and novel emotions. This is what Eliot intends when he discusses poetry as an escape from emotion. Unlike the Romantic's idea of original creation and inspiration, Eliot's concept of tradition foregrounds how important older writers are to contemporary writers. For Eliot, the more mature the poet, the more his mind is able to synthesize various influences and emotions to produce something varied and complex. This theory of tradition also highlights Eliot's anti-romanticism. The essay is a challenge to the conventions of early 20th century literary criticism. Eliot's most concise statement of his thesis comes, at the start of the December installment, honest criticism and sensitive appreciation is directed, not upon the poet but upon the poetry. That's all for today. If you find this video informative, please do subscribe our channel and don't forget to click the bell icon to get the notification of our coming videos. Thank you for watching.